Okay, so the topic of this video will be chromosomes and their mutations. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when we look at a picture like this, this is called a karyotype. It's a picture of a person's chromosomes. And what we hope to see are the normal amount of chromosomes, which would be 46 total chromosomes, 23 pairs of chromosomes. And the reason our chromosomes come in pairs is because we inherit 23 chromosomes from our mother. These would be the maternal chromosomes. And then we inherit 23 chromosomes from our father. These would be the paternal chromosomes. Now, are the chromosomes on the left always the ones from your mother and the chromosomes on the right always from your father? And, and the answer is no. We can't actually tell which chromosome is maternal and which chromosome is paternal. They are just randomly arranged. However, we do receive 23 chromosomes from each parent. And the first of these chromosome disorders to discuss is a, a type of disorder called non-disjunction. And you might remember a picture like this. This is the process of meiosis. So improper chromosome separation tends to happen during the process of meiosis. When chromosomes are being pulled to opposite cells, sometimes errors happen in the formation of the gametes, the gametes being the sperm in males and the eggs in females. And one of the uh, first types of non-disjunction to discuss are trisomy conditions. And this is where the cells that are created will have three of a certain type of chromosome. For example, in this picture, sufferers of Down syndrome, also called trisomy 21, have three chromosome 21s in their cells. We'll try to explain how this happens in a little bit. Another example of a trisomy disorder is Patau syndrome, also called trisomy 13, where the sufferers have three chromosome 13s in every one of their cells. And then finally, another example of a trisomy disorder would be Klinefelter's syndrome, also called XXY syndrome, where they have three sex chromosomes. And then there's also non-disjunction disorders called monosomy disorders, where the cells have only one of a chromosome where they should have two. Turner syndrome right here, also called monosomy X syndrome, uh, is a great example of this, where sufferers of this disorder only possess one of the X chromosomes. So let's try to see how this happens. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left are, is a cell that's gonna go through the normal process of meiosis. And so crossing over just occurred where the chromosomes break off and exchange segments with one another. And then as we go through meiosis one, we get to a stage called anaphase one where the two chromosomes separate. And then as we go through meiosis two, the two halves of the chromosomes separate, or the chromatids. And notice what you have. We have four cells that have been created, and each cell has one copy of the genetic material. This is very much the normal process of meiosis here. Now on the right-hand side, crossing over just occurred, and it recombined the chromosomes. That's normal. And let's go through anaphase one of meiosis. Normally, the chromosomes separate. One chromosome went to the cell to the left, one chromosome to the cell to the right. Now highlighted in red is anaphase two of meiosis two. Watch what happens next. Notice how in the third cell, the entire chromosome was pulled to the third cell. And so what we have here are the first two cells are fine. They each have one copy of the genetic material like they're supposed to. But the third cell has two copies of the genetic material because two chromatids make up a chromosome. And then on the right cell, this cell has zero copies of the genetic material. Well, let's follow this a little more. On the left, let's look at the normal process. Let's say that these are female egg cells, the gametes. Well, here come some male sperm cells. And so when the sperm cells fuse with the egg cells, you might know that they create a diploid zygote. And in this case, notice how diploid zygotes, they're supposed to have two copies of the genetic material. That's normal. Well, let's look at the other side now. Of these four cells, only two of them are normal. You have two normal egg cells on the left, and you have two abnormal egg cells on the right. Well, here comes some uh, sperm cells, normal sperm cells from a male. And when the sperm cells fertilize the egg cells, I hope you see the dilemma. First of all, the two cells on the left are normal. 
normal diploid zygotes, they have two copies of the genetic material. Look at the third cell. This is a zygote with a trisomy disorder because it has three copies of the genetic material. Look to the cell on the right. Oh, um, I forgot. This is uh, this might be uh, the condition that leads to uh, an individual suffering from Down syndrome or Patau syndrome. Notice three chromosome 13s there. But now notice the cell to the right. This is a zygote with a monosomy disorder where they only have one copy of the genetic material. For instance, Turner syndrome, all because of an error in chromosome separations. Well, what about during anaphase number one? I've highlighted in red. Watch this. The two chromosomes still experience crossing over and exchange segments of, of, of chromosomes with one another. That's normal. But as we go into anaphase number one, both chromosomes get pulled to the left cell. That's not supposed to happen. Only one chromosome should be in the left cell and the other chromosome should be in the right cell. And if we follow this out next, as we go into anaphase two, notice what we have here. We have the, the two cells on the left have two copies of the genetic material. They're not supposed to. These are supposed to be gametes like egg cells and sperm cells. They're only supposed to have one copy of the genetic material. The two cells on the right have zero copies of the genetic material. So if we continue this and we have four egg cells, each of these are abnormal. Well, here come some sperm cells, the male gametes, and when the sperm cells fertilize these egg cells, each of them is abnormal for different reasons. The two on the left, these two zygotes would, uh, would have a trisomy disorder because there's three copies of the genetic material in those two cells. But the two zygotes on the right would have a monosomy disorder because they only have one copy of the genetic material. Because the, the chromosomes did not separate properly during meiosis, this is a non-disjunction uh, error. Well, let's look at a couple other uh, mutations that can happen along with chromosomes. So crossing over, which is the event during meiosis uh, number one, prophase number one of meiosis one, uh, is, is a normal event where chromosomes intertwine with one another. Homologous chromosomes are supposed to intertwine with one another and they exchange segments of DNA. It's a very important step of meiosis because it, it helps to create the genetic diversity that we see uh, within our species. However, errors can often happen during this process. And so here's a chromosome, and let's divide this chromosome into six segments, segment A, B, C, D, E, and F. And so now this colorful object is gonna represent the chromosome. And every segment, you know, may contain dozens or hundreds of genes. So let's, let's show how crossing over mutations can differ from one another and how they can happen. So the first type of, of mutation would be a, a, a segment is accidentally deleted in the crossing over process. So watch the normal chromosome, three, two, one. During crossing over, notice what happened. The B segment was deleted. And so this chromosome could be missing dozens to hundreds of genes that are incredibly important in the formation of many proteins within this person. cry Shat syndrome is a great example of this. If you're curious, you can Google this a little more detail, but sufferers of this disorder are missing a small portion of chromosome number five. And then there are the duplication uh, mutations where chromosome segments are duplicated. So watch the normal chromosome, three, two, one. During crossing over, a segment got duplicated. And so here we have a case where there's uh, extra genetic information on this chromosome. An example is this syndrome right here. I've never really heard of this syndrome until researching this slideshow, but this one is caused by uh, sufferers having extra material on chromosome number 12. And then there are the inversions that can happen where chromosome segments, the order of the segments are swapped with one another. So watch the normal chromosome, three, two, one. During crossing over, segments might get swapped with one another. Now, I've, I, when I was researching this presentation, turns out some of these inversions are 
Um, the, the, suffer, the people who have these inversions really don't suffer any health effects, but there are some uh, that, that do. So some cases of this disorder right here are caused by an inversion of chromosome number seven. So what I read is that not, these inversions are not always guaranteed to lead to problems, but sometimes they do. And then there are the translocation disorders where chromosome segments from an outside chromosome are gained. So watch the normal chromosome. During the swapping of chromosome parts, this might happen where uh, this chromosome obtained another segment letter uh, labeled letter G from another chromosome. An example of this disorder is this blood cancer right here where a portion of chromosome number nine has actually attached to chromosome number 22. So these are examples of mutations that happen during the act of crossing over. And there you go. I hope you found this short video helpful on some examples of chromosome mutations. Thank you for watching. And if you're in my class, you know, try to solve these questions. I'm happy to check your answers before school or after school one day. Thanks for watching.